Well, hello, fellow collectors, guys and girls from around the world. It's the Commander 35 back here again, and I hope you're all doing well. Coming at you finally with another action figure review. Right here in front of the camera, I got a Star Wars The Black Series action figure by Hasbro, and it's none other than uh, Clone Commander Doom, a recently released 3 and 3 quarter inch action figure. Um, and I'm, I can say I'm happy to have him. If you don't know who this character is, um, he's based off uh, the character we see in uh, Star Wars The Clone Wars Season 6, that exclusive season from Netflix. That is kind of the uh, uh, closure to the series, which I think is bullshit how it you know, got cancelled for Rebels. I mean, Rebels is okay, you know, they got Ahsoka doing a little kind of uh, cash grab cameo, but that's not the point of this video. It's just a figure. Um, and am I happy with it? Uh, I can say yes. I can say uh, Hasbro, they're stepping up their game with this guy right here. And uh, even though it's an insignificant uh, clone character from like a little story arc in uh, this final season of Star Wars The Clone Wars, I love fucking clone troopers. I, I, well that, that sounded terrible. Um, and no offense to gay people, but I, I don't love fucking, I mean this is just an awesome, I, I, I'm a big fan of clone troopers. Let's put it that way, <laughs> without getting awkward. But um, this figure, I don't know. Let me just uh, do something right here. I want to, even though I said it's three and three quarter inches, just wanted to put a ruler beside it for comparison, so you guys can actually kind of, you know, get an idea, get a sense of what's going on behind the camera. And I'll even put another three and three quarter inch figure beside him, a standard shock trooper from Revenge of the Sith. As you can see, it's a uh, you know, it's a decently sized figure. Bring up a little closer. And why I'm so uh, happy with this figure is, it's just, I don't know, it's its just um, a lot better than a lot of the figures they've been doing lately with the uh, five points of articulation dog shit. Um, sorry for the language. It's, uh, I know, it's uh, for obscene. But, um, yeah. As you can tell, uh, this character, uh, well, this figure of the character has this his paint deco applications the main theme of it is like this hulkish green color and I think it is uh, it's nice looking on the figure like even more so in person like the camera doesn't do it enough justice I could just kinda give it like a spin around on the back it looks cool he's even got like this these grayish um, parts of the armor like on his knees down to his ankles over there and his boots even on his uh, going down his arms his forearms to his wrists uh, hands and all that and on his, his main uh, face plate of course he's uh, utilizing the phase 2 clone trooper armor with, like a special edition helmet with the extended piece over there as even like an antenna on the side like a little bebop on the other side and uh, for other paint decos, he's got like this mustard uh, stripe shit going around on his Kama here. He's got like a, a brownish belt. Um, yeah, a little closer. Sorry for the poking of the camera there. Uh, he got his two holsters, which uh, his blaster pistols, his only two accessories can fit nice and snug in there. And by the way, these DC-17 blaster pistols are like a little bit bulkier than the ones that we've seen in the past. And over here, I wanted to point out something uh, freaking cool. Coolioso is his uh, his communicator. They uh, applied some detailing to it for a change. Now, I don't recall any of their figures doing that before or having that feature with that paint job. But I could be wrong. But uh, I I don't know. It, I don't see it on many figures these days. And they should definitely keep doing that. That's a, a nice way to... Uh, it's realistic, you know. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it, but uh, yeah. Over here, I wanted, wanted to show this too. Some little nice uh, attention to detailing with his medals to identify his rank. It's cool. And as you can see, like in the cracks of his armor, he has the black jumpsuit. Going on the back, I wanted to point this out that... A lot of their figures in the past, they've had this problem with the joints being like a completely different color, not matching the um, the colors of the figure itself. 
And this one, I think it fits well because the black over here on the knee section, it matches because of his jumpsuit is all black. That's why I think it works. It blends in. You know, I don't really have a problem with it. Um, and on his ankles, it blends in with his um, with the gray color because the, the joints inside are the same color as those. So, or as, yeah. And uh, yeah, just lots of fucking paint applications all over the place, left to right and center. And it, uh, it just feels like very sturdy, not like flimsy and shitty. Like, um, I also like this, the Kama that came with this figure. It's the, it's kind of a throwback to their older, like uh, 2008 era figs, especially the Captain Rex that comes closest to mind um, with the, the solid plastic instead of the soft goods material, but I think this is a lot cooler looking. Uh, just, if I think it just looks more like it does in the show than the soft goods do. That's just my opinion. And uh, yeah. Let's go over his articulation, I suppose. Which is awesome, I must say, before I get to this. He's got a ball jointed neck, right? He's got two ball hinged shoulders. Okay, he's got two ball hinged elbows. Wow. Okay. Okay. We're going that way. He's got the, that special articulation wrist thing that the super articulated Clone Wars figures had in the past. Uh, like it goes up and down and it rotates around. That kind of cool, fancy shit. He's got swivel waist. He's got swivel hips. Ball hinged knees and ball hinged ankles. So wow, Hasbro, you actually gave articulation back to your figures. That is cool. Um, I like that. I don't want five points. I want this. You don't have to do like the ball hinged hips and the ball jointed torso thing. You know, you don't have to do that. Just give it like this kind of half super articulated articulation. I think that works. And uh, they did this figure. I just, I'm so happy with it. And I just knocked him over. That's how happy I am with him. Sorry for that, Mr. Doom, sir. Commander, I apologize for knocking your ass over. But uh, overall, I'm happy with the figure. I guess I'll I'll give him a, a five out of five. Hasbro uh, nailed it straight on, even though it's not like this amazing, uh, freaking, uh, like significant character. They still uh, it's still a clone trooper. I love clones, and uh, I'll keep buying them as long as they make them, especially in this fashion. Hell to the yes, make as many characters as you want, and I will buy them. But uh, yeah, guys, uh, let me know what you think of them. Do you have them? If you don't, check eBay. There's lots of places I got them right now. Uh, I believe it's not even officially released currently. I'm not sure about that. I don't. I don't know. I just find stuff and I buy it, and that's it. Uh, but yeah, that's my review, guys. Uh, stay tuned for more. I got some more figures from this guy's wave. So yeah, catch you later, guys. Stay safe out there. It's been the Command 35 of my review on uh, Star Wars: The Clone Wars Season 6 Commander Doom action figure.